Hello and welcome back to our tutorial. In this lesson we're going to be covering microtonal playback in Sibelius. As you know, Sibelius can of course play all of the notes in a normal chromatic scale, and most of the time that's all you really need. But sometimes you want to reach the notes in between the chromatically spaced notes, in other words, the microtones. And in Western music, the most commonly required microtones are quarter tones. In fact, they're now so common in Western music these days that there are well established notation systems for them. And you can see this in Sibelius on the accidental tab of the keypad. We can notate a note as a quarter tone sharp, a quarter tone flat, a three quarter tone sharp, and a three quarter tone flat. And what I've got here is a list of all of the quarter tones and semitones in order, so a quarter tone scale. Unfortunately, however, even though we have notation for these notes, the way it currently is, Sibelius won't play these quarter tones. It's currently just playing the quarter tones as normal semitones. There is, however, a great little plugin to help us with this. If I select my passage, and then go to the plugin list under the play tab. There's a neat little plugin here called quarter tone playback. And once this window is open, if I then hit OK, you see it adds a whole lot of invisible text to my passage. Now, these snippets of text are actually MIDI controllers, and this particular type of MIDI controller is a pitch bender. And so what the plugin's doing is it's simply finding any quarter tones in the passage and then pitch bending them to the required frequency. Now we can actually use this text to set our own pitch bends if we want to. We first have to add a normal technique text field, and then we enter in a wavy dash. And this wavy dash is actually called a twiddle, and all MIDI controllers begin with this twiddle. And for a pitch bend, after the twiddle we then need a capital B, followed by the number zero, and a comma. And then a numeric value, and it's the numeric value that changes the pitch. And so for an unchanged chromatic pitch, the numeric value is 64. And if we want to raise the pitch by a quarter tone, we have to raise this numeric value by 16. And so that's why the text above our quarter tones from before say B0, 80. Likewise, if you want to lower the pitch quarter tone, you have to lower the numeric value by 16. Now, if you're just working with quarter tones, don't bother typing this in. Just use the plugin I showed you before. It's a lot easier. But it is good to know that we can change the text in this way because then we can reach all sorts of other microtones if we need to. I could type in B0, 54, for example, and this would produce a tone just slightly lower than the normal pitch. Now there is one thing that you have to take into consideration, and that is that if you apply a pitch bend, it applies to all of the notes on that instrument. So a pitch bend on a piano would affect all of the notes in a single chord. You can't just do a pitch bend for one of the pitches in a chord. So if you need a chord that combines normal chromatic pitches and microtones, you're going to have to add an additional piano to your score. And for that one chord, you would then have one pitch bent piano and one normal piano. So that's it. I hope you have fun trying these things out, and I'll see you in the next lesson.